projects open advanced textures multi texture yes this is loading a model of a race car it takes a little while because it's a very big model lots of detail so we just wait for it to come up ok um, pick layer and actually let's just look at this windscreen here so in this exercise what we're going to do is we're going to pick the layer which is the windscreen and the first thing we want to do is we want to add a texture to it screen 1 now the orientation for this one is to map the width to the green and I think it's going to be negative if I remember correctly and the height is Z no I didn't remember correctly it's actually Y that way ok so if we say ok and let's have a look at that we've got a image that goes nicely on this screen but we can't see through it so if I pick the layer again we can say set the transparency but I don't want to do that because we'll be able to see through the imaging such as the number one here and we don't want to do that because that's not a true representation of the model we're trying to build but what I can do is I can say that the transparency for that texture has an invisible colour and that's black ok problem there is we can't see through it we can't uh, it looks like there's nothing there now so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another texture here so this is the second texture screen 2 this one also has mapping of Y and Z ok now the black here is going to be invisible ok now we can see through to the texture below it and what we've got essentially is just a grey and what I'm going to do with that grey is I'm going to change the blend of the texture blending is like a, a fading or a transparency although it's a blending of the, f the top texture to the one that we have on top so if I said the blend factor was zero it wouldn't, we would not see that this texture at all but if we make it full we see the full intensity by making it half I can make the transparency of this well let's make it 80 ok so now we can see through it but um, it looks like it's tinted which is the appropriate effect we want now the third thing we're going to do is add another texture for the top because we have a banner that goes along the top now what's this one let's try Y and it's not Z this one this one is the height we map along the X axis uh, that's wrong let's try the height is negative X that's better ok the reason why we've got this as a separate image rather than having it part of the first image is because the way we've drawn it it maps differently this one is uh, Y and X whereas this one is Y and Z and again 
we set the invisible colour to black then we see the combination of all three images. If I press escape we can see that it looks like a really good result now. If I want to change the transparency for the transparent parts I can click on the layer, pick this one and change its blend. Let's move it up here so we can see what we're doing. Say 50. Okay. And that is multi-texture.